Hi, welcome to the Latvian channel. In this video, let me show you how to make this exercise. And it is answer bracket. You can see the dimension part here. Then let's make a modeling part now. From the SOLIDWORKS interface, let's start from front plane and click on normal tool. Then, from the sketch, click to this toggle and midpoint line. Make it for construction and set for this point and make it horizontal. Right click and select. Click to this toggle and I want to click a strike slot. Let's set for 12 mm for this distance. And then, okay. Next, from this point to this point, set for 50 mm. And then press enter. Zoom out. And then, offset entities. And set for value, and it is 14 mm. And then click to this sketch, then OK. Well, for the next step, click to this circle. Make for two circle and set for smart dimension from this point to this point and set for 140 millimeter. Let's set for six millimeter. I'm sorry, for thirty one point seven five millimeter for this small circle diameter, and for the bigger one, and it is fifty one millimeter. Next step, let's click to this line and start from this trickle, then click to this point and mirror entities from this mirror what select to this line. So the entities copy here and then okay. Then let's give the thickness from this six this sketch by click a feeder then extrude was for its base let's set for 15 millimeter and then select for all the sketch then apply click to the toggle and sketch extrude was Set for 22 millimeter and then click to the sketch, then apply. Then from this toggle, then go to the sketch, extrude was and set for 44 millimeter for this value and then click to the sketch, then apply. Well, for the next step, let's make extrude cut from this position part by go to the top plane and click on normal tool before that let's click and modeling part by click a sketch let's set for this position find its mid point Make for two circle, click a small dimension from this small circle, set diameter value for six millimeter, 
then apply and for this one and it is 20 millimeter and then enter let's set one hundred and forty millimeter plus thirty two millimeter from each distance then click to this line and start from this point then connect to the circle too and click trim into this let's delete for the unnecessary line make sure time to cause it is selected and then feeder then give the thickness by extra boss so let's change the arrow by make it a mid plane and set for 20 milli 20 millimeter for its distance and then apply well let's remove for this part by go to this toggle and sketch make it so click to this line or sketch and then click extra cut And then click for mid plane. Let's cut for its body and then apply. Let's hide for the sketch. Then let's for saw and it is two millimeter for this part. Select for front plane and make it a normal tool then right click sketch let's click to this line I'm sorry before that let's give for a fillet for this part by click a feeder I'm sorry just apply that and then fillet and make it for 3 millimeter and then click to this okay let's sew for 2 millimeter front plan normal tool right click and click select then click to design find for its midpoint and then make it for its center go to feeder then exit cut So from this one, click turn feeder, then set for 2 millimeter, and then select mid plane. You can drag for its row. And then click for drop all. Then apply. Well, it's almost done. If you want to change for its several surface color. 
click to this icon for the example right click delete and i want to click for this select face and choose for this color and i want to set for this surface This optional, you can make your own color. And I want to finish that. And change for the isometric view by Ctrl 7 combination. Wow, well, the part is done. I hope you like this video and you can follow this tutorial if you want to find the similar tutorial check my playlist and see you on the next one